Every day in the world, agriculture feeds 7 billion people. And this number will reach at least 10 billion within the next 50 years. Agriculture is the source of our food. Everything we eat depends on it. Agriculture produces vegetables, fruits, and cereals, but it also feeds the animals that we eat. The bad news is, agriculture is in real danger. A United Nations report claims that an increase of one degree in temperature could decrease agricultural yield by at least 2 percent. We'll need more fields, but centuries of urbanization have left no space, unless we destroy precious nature areas like rainforests. Even worse, since the 1900s, more than 90 percent of the fruit and vegetable varieties have been lost. Why is the loss of diversity such a bad thing? Did you know that today more than 60% of the world's calories come from three crops, wheat, rice, and maize? While those crops are originated from specific places in the world, they are grown everywhere, from East Asia to the Americas. As they spread, they had to face new challenges, but they also diversified. Quickly, farmers and professional breeders realized that this biodiversity could be used to create new varieties more resistant to cold or drought and to increase yielding. This is why preserving crop diversity remains the best way to help agriculture adapt to the challenges and demands we face. Luckily, crop diversity, though in danger, is not entirely gone. Farmers still maintain it in their fields, while scientists have established hundreds of gene banks in the world to safeguard this diversity. We at the Crop Trust are here to help these gene banks. Our mission is to create a global system with secure funding, efficient management, and coordination between the world's gene banks. Thanks to this global system, over the last 10 years, we've already secured more than 700,000 crop varieties in international gene banks. And we also made sure that these varieties were backed up in the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. But the work is not done yet. We need to secure our agriculture diversity forever. We need to build a self-sufficient global system encompassing the whole of crop diversity. This is why the Crop Trust is raising an endowment of 850 million U.S. dollars that will produce the funding required on an annual basis, indefinitely. But we can't do that without your support. Help us make sure our children and theirs will have enough food to eat. Together, we can secure the foundation of our future. Together, we can secure our agriculture, our food, forever.